Backfiring and decel pop. One is normal and harmless and sounds kind of awesome. The other probably means there's something wrong with your bike. Which is which? Let's open up the shop manual and find out. This episode of the shop manual is brought to you by Kershaw, my go-to unboxing knife and a tool I carry with me everywhere. Get 20% off your order at kershawknives.com with discount code 20TSM. You might be wondering, why would the muffler emit anything other than regular exhaust noise? Because even in the best running engine, there's always going to be some amount of unburned gas left over after combustion. And when that residual fuel mixes with oxygen in the exhaust, it can ignite. If you're not familiar with D-cell pops and backfires, Let's define our terms. Both happen when you roll off the gas, but D-cell pops are a quieter and prolonged stream of burbles, snaps, and bursts, whereas backfires sound more like one or two gunshots or firecrackers. They're loud. A little clarification to start. D-cell pop, backfire, flames shooting out the exhaust and the like, are all technically an example of what's called an afterfire, since they occur after the combustion chamber. A backfire is actually when mixture explodes back out through the intake. True backfires are very rare, and that's a good thing, because a backfire can blow the throttle body off the back of the cylinder and even light your air filter on fire. In fact, some OEM air filters have a heavy metal screen on the engine side to suppress flames, just in case. So true backfires are bad. And afterfires, which we commonly call backfires, are usually bad as well since they only occur when some aspect of your bike's tuning is out of whack. It might be a faulty injector or a clogged carburetor jet or some other issue that's causing your bike's air fuel ratio to be excessively rich or lean. It could also be bad ignition timing or cam timing or an air leak or any number of other things. But basically, if your bike has started backfiring, it's crying for help, and you should figure out what's going on before something gets damaged. D-cell pop, on the other hand, is perfectly normal. Modern motorcycles even promote combustion in the exhaust so that unburned hydrocarbons don't end up in the atmosphere. They have emissions equipment that feeds fresh air into the exhaust port to help ignite residual gas. But with a stock exhaust, there's a catalytic converter and baffles and all kinds of restrictions that suppress the sound of that combustion so much that you don't really hear anything. However, when you install a high flow aftermarket exhaust, be it a slip-on or a full system, those D-cell pops are gonna be a lot more noticeable because there's less muffling the pops and bangs that were already there. On top of that, a high flow system will increase D-cell pops because of things like the muffler opening. It's bigger, so it allows more reversion so more fresh air can get up into the pipe. And then larger diameter pipes yield lower exhaust gas velocity, so there's more time for combustion to happen before everything gets pushed out of the tailpipe. If those D-cell pops are approaching the violence of a backfire though, you're gonna wanna check for leaking exhaust gaskets and pipe joints, and you should consider having your bike's EFI or carb settings checked to ensure their air fuel ratio isn't screwed up. Okay, so if D-cell pop is normal, but big backfires are bad, then what's up with all the flame shooting motorcycles we see in professional racing? Well, in racing, tailpipe emissions in miles per gallon take a backseat to horsepower and drivability and it's not uncommon to maintain some fuel flow even when the throttle is closed because it helps smooth out initial throttle pickup. That means you've got an abundance of unburned gas and an exhaust system that's about as wide open as a hallway, and that is a perfect recipe for a flame show. To recap, D-cell pops are normal and nothing to worry about. As far as backfires go, Unless your bike has been modified and professionally tuned, if it's shooting flame out the tailpipe and sounds like gunshots, that suggests all is not well with your bike setup.